Hello Internet, I am Firebolt. And I'm the Orbiter. And today for game night we will be playing a game called Just a Minute, as you can probably see from the title of the video. Basically the way this works, if you haven't seen the Radio 4 show, seen? Listen to. <laughs> uh, I knew where that was going. <laughs> shut up. The way that this works is we have a big list of subjects here, and basically we uh, are going to take it in turns trying to speak for a whole minute about that subject without repeating ourselves, uh, well, repeating words, but you're allowed to repeat the subject and connecting words such as and. There's three things, isn't there? So, it's repetition, deviation... Uh, deviation, which means if you go just wildly off topic for no reason. And what's the other one? Uh, hesitation. Hesitation. <laughs> so if you just pause for too long, then we can challenge each other. I'd just like to point out that on, on the Radio 4 version of this, if you say, uh, that counts yeah. as hesitation. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Good uh, <luck>. So <laughs> this is going to be... This is going to be hell. <laughs> so the way that the points work is basically we've got a timer set up. If when that goes off, you are the one speaking, you get a point. If you challenge someone correctly, you get a point. If you are challenged while speaking, and that is deemed to be an invalid challenge, then uh, the person speaking gets the point. Okay. That is how we are going But nothing loses your points. No. Okay. Right. So, who's going to begin? We never worked that out, did we, beforehand? Oh, well, we've got a random number generator here anyway for um, so the topics that we're going to use. Should we say if it's in the first half of the scope, it's yeah. you, and if it's in the second half, it'll be me. Okay, so we've got a 1 to 22 generator here, so if it's... 1 to 11, that's you. All right, for going first. Yeah. Right. Shit. Ah. <laughs> it's 19. Oh. So are we going to go for subject number 19 on the list, or are we going to generate sure. again? Sure. Right, so maybe I've looked at it before I said that. Number 19 on our list is pavement etiquette. Okay. So timer at the ready. And if you want to challenge, you just hit the stop button. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm starting at You are. All right, so three, two... One, go. When I was only a young boy, I learned the principle of pavement etiquette. When out shopping with my mother, we used to weave our way in and out of the other pedestrians, trying not to bump into other people. But it might be considered rude if one does, especially if one trips that person up and there is an injury resulting from that trippage. An ambulance may have to be called, and then the pavement etiquette rules will have been broken because injury would have resulted from one's own inability to follow the rules of pavement etiquette. Shit! <laughs> right, so I get a point because you failed to <laughs> exist there. Failed to exist? <laughs> I, I'm not with words today, which is terrible for this, but... <laughs> anyway, so now I start from where I stopped, uh, which was 21 seconds. Okay, are you ready? And go. Hang on. Hesitation. Sorry. No, <laughs> that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah it does. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How does that not count? <laughs> Sorry. I just failed to... My, my brain's not working today. Give me a break, please. <laughs> okay, so I believe it's my turn to take over with 18 seconds uh, left The words the that you have already said carry over. I know, I know. So, start. Three, two, one. In youth, it can also be an exciting game to play when you walk along the pavement trying to avoid stepping on the cracks. If you did not succeed in avoiding the Deviation. cracks... Deviation. Oh. That has nothing to do with pavement etiquette. Oh, no, you've just hijacked the subject four seconds before the end. It's still valid. <laughs> Are we validating that? I suppose. Yeah, I suppose it's not really etiquette. <laughs> it's just a pavement game. Ready? Yep. And time starts now. I truly think that we should all walk on the left of the pavement. I really get annoyed 
And that's the time up. <sighs> so I now have three points and you have one. Gloat all you wish. But it's now my turn to start. Yeah. I, I, my first bit of go at that was ace. I got over half a minute in. It doesn't matter. I purposely <laughs> waited. <laughs> oh, right. Game on. So, random number generator, here we come. The next subject is subject number eight. Eight. Subject number eight is penguins. Oh, hurrah. Is one ready to commence? Yes. And go. Penguins are typically found in very cold climates, such as the Arctic and Antarctica. The... (laughs) I'm going to pull you up on two points there, because I'm going to say deviation and um, hesitation. Because are they not only... um, Oh, that's in one of the incorrect Antarctic information. Arctic. I'm not sure which one it is. I, I'm not that knowledgeable. But incorrect information is a deviation, is it? Oh, well, sure. yeah, because it's, you can have that anyway. It's irrelevant. It's kind of it's, it's you wrong. Have, you can have that anyway. <laughs> anyway, now you get to start. Oh, hurrah! Three, two, one. If you are lucky enough to be taken on a trip to the zoo, you might be fortunate enough to get to see. <laughs> The penguin enclosure, where it would be not unusual to view <laughs> penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Shit on a stick. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. Go. There are several types of penguins. My personal favourite being the emperor penguin, which, for a fact, I know can dive very deep. It can get to the depths of 500 meters, I think, which is mm, a thing. Yeah. Hesitation. <laughs> ah, shut up. <laughs> Shit. 4 3 for four, you three, at the moment. 4 3. So, 3, 2, 1. One of my favorite snacks is a penguin chocolate biscuit. And one of the things about a penguin chocolate biscuit that excites me biscuit the most. Twice oh, twice. Oh, shit. That was on zero. (laughs) No, it wasn't when I clicked it. (laughs) Shit. (laughs) Shit. Are we counting that? (laughs) Well, the alarm hadn't gone off, so I suppose. Fuck me. No. Oh, right. Okay, let's go. So it's five, three to you. It may as well be six. I had had loads of... I was going to go up and joke and... What do you mean it may as well be six? Because I'm... You're taking over with zero seconds to go. (laughs) Okay, make it six. Six, three. Yeah. Blooming, blooming you. (laughs) My insults. I'm running out of insults, even. A repetition of insults. So now it's your turn to start. Uh, Is it? Yeah, Yeah, I started on penguins. Okay. I just did so shite. I'm not sure if in the real game it's just the person that finished last that continues. It doesn't matter. It might do, depending on what the subject is. Number 21. Is boring names. Okay. Three, two, one. When discussing the subject of boring names, one must inevitably take into account what specifies something as a boring name. Examples that spring to mind might be Fred... George, Stephen, Paul, Oliver, Simon, Fred. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, oh. I nearly fell out of my seat on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was dreading this game. It's actually more fun than it seems. Mm-hmm. The ex- mental panic that goes on in your mind <laughs> when you're just trying to keep talking. <laughs> and I'm right. dying to see some are of the ready? faces we're pulling. Are we ready? Uh, I don't know. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. And go. I find that my partner here, the Orbiter, has a fairly boring name in real life, whose actual name is Paul. I find that one syllable name. Repetition. I 
Because <laughs> I'd already said... Hang on. I need to update this. So I got one from challenging you and you get one from challenging me. I take it that is in the rules. You can't repeat what someone else has said as well. Oh, no. Well, that's not fair because you could just literally repeat someone's entire speech. I I, I think there are exceptions, but uh, I would be allowed to say that again, I think. At least in the way that we're playing it. What, according to your rules? <laughs> well, <laughs> so does that mean I lose that challenge then? No, because uh, I said I've I I said I fight twice. Oh right, okay. You were picking me up on a different thing, but I'd still thought you yeah. admitted to it. So <sighs> anyway, it's your turn to start. Three, two, one. There are many exciting ways to make something seem interesting by the label we pick for it or the name. One example would be you the said houses. example before repetition. <sighs> <laughs> Shit, this is difficult. Okay, ready? Go. Hang on. No, I I was ah! I was sorry, I was mid sentence when I'd finished, so I you didn't say ready. I didn't say yes, did I? No, you didn't, but Exactly. Well, Alright then, go on then. Are you ready? Okay. Um You haven't said yes. No. Yeah hang on, you're not allowed to mentally prepare. I'm <laughs> it's like <laughs> There's only half an hour of this show on the radio. They don't get to... Oh, they maybe edit it out. I don't know. I'll tell you what. Why don't right, I go okay. away while you write no, your no, script? Sh- shut up. <laughs> Ready? Go. More examples of boring names are Beth, Clifford, John, Dave, the... Hesitation! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You, it's now 8.5, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's about to become 8.5. This has probably gone very wrong. Very wrong. Yeah, probably. <clears throat> Three, two, one. People choose the most ridiculous... What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I, it's not going again. No, because you've stopped it. <laughs> it's got to zero and you Fine. stopped it before the alarm Fine. went off. Well, we'll count that as a point. The alarm didn't go off because I'm because, a twat. Because you stopped it, yeah. Right. So it's now 8-6 to me. Okay. Random number generator. Who starts this one? You. Me. 15. Have we had that yet? No. This is the London Underground. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Go. I find the London Underground to be quite a stressful place. I remember one particular anecdote about a uh, very... Rude- Hesitation. Oh, I no, sorry. Like... That was a... I thought you said a, uh, but you didn't. It was a, uh, wasn't it? A uh, very uh, Do rude. I get a point? Because you Yeah, it was a, an incorrect so. challenge, yeah. Okay, you ready to continue? Can I say the sentence that I was in the middle of saying? Um, And then I'll start it when you get to very rude, yeah? Okay. About a very rude passenger who almost crushed me considering I was about five at the time. My mother was very angry at this person and she shouted at them. He replied, it's the London way. I find this to be very stressful. Stressful. (laughs) This is just like, (laughs) what's a word? You've said very several times as well now. Fine. Okay. Three, two, one. The London Underground is made up of several different coloured lines on the map. Examples of those lines would be... You said lines. Oh, shit! (laughs) (laughs) I was so busy concentrating on... He's not going to pull me up on examples because that was the last thing I... (laughs) Ready? Uh, Yes. Go. Examples of such lines... Uh, the Victoria line, the circle line, the repetition. Brown... What? Um oh. line. <laughs> yes. You ready? Yeah. Is this <laughs> me? Sorry. <laughs> Three, two, one. London Underground branches are divided into differing shades. Yellow, green, brown, blue, black. I, you stopped it again yeah, before the alarm went off, and I'm not carrying on because I'm. <laughs> no, it's fine. Already you, there. You get a point for that. 
I am really competitive, so I'm just like, you must have said something. <laughs> what, while it's on zero? That's yeah. really... like I'm going to press it anyway. I think you should, Yeah. Fine. I should really stop doing that. <sighs> okay. I'm trigger happy. Connext. Uh, it, who starts next? I started on that one. Did you? Right. So the next subject... I think we've done number eight, have we? Yeah, that was penguins, so okay. we shall do a different right, number one. Number ten. Uh, number ten, the inside of a ping pong ball. Great. I've gotten this <clears throat> as a recommendation from people in debating club. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but they're not like on a timer or not allowed to deviate or repeat. Or... No, th- we were playing. Oh, did you play this? Uh, that's not a bad idea for a debating club, actually. Okay. Three, two, one. The inside of a ping pong ball can be given as an example of the ultimate... Kind of... <laughs> hesitation. Hesitation. <laughs> Ultimate. <laughs> like a fucking horse. <laughs> what? A fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I said? I couldn't tell you were laughing too much. <laughs> Next. Okay, so um, are you ready? Uh, uh, that's not fair. You've practised this then already if you've done it as well. I've not. I don't remember any of it. A likely story. Ready? Go. The inside of a ping pong ball is most undoubtedly white, as most ping pong balls are of that Hesitate. light. Uh, shape. Repetition. What? You said most twice. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought you were going to start crying then. <laughs> Don't worry, it's 43 seconds uh, left. There's no way I'm. Have you taken. Have you, are you making a note of the points here? Yeah, it's 11 <clears> 10. <throat> To me. Start. As I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted by my gaming companion, the inside of a ping pong ball is an example of the concave (laughs) structure of the inside of (laughs) fuck-a-doodah. Hesitation. (laughs) I never said fuck-a-doodah twice. Hesitation. Okay. What the hell can you say about the inside of a ping pong ball? It's... Mm, mm, what? Mm. What? Carry on. Hang on, so that's a point to me, so it's now 12.10. Okay. Okay, now oh, you start. Are you ready? Yes. Go. I have found that ping pong balls are made of plastic usually, so naturally the inside of a ping pong ball is also made of this substance. That naturally falls... <laughs> I'm going to stop that because it not only was a hesitation, but you said made twice as well. You're too <laughs> mean. Too mean? Fine. Three, two, one. The inside of a ping pong ball inevitably contains a gaseous substance, which is made up usually of hydrogen. Deviation. Oxygen. Deviation. You're just talking about oxygen now. Yeah, which is on the inside of a ping pong ball. No, that's just deviation. What? Right, this is a debate now because what is well, what is on the inside of a ping pong ball? Then you didn't say the usually, inside. It doesn't say the inside surface of a ping pong ball. Usually, I don't think there's actually oxygen in there because it's like sealed off. Well, there must be something, otherwise it would collapse. It's not a vacuum. We must look this up. <laughs> I think it might be cheating to Google what's on the inside of a ping pong ball. With yeah, well, there's only two seconds to go. So whoever wins can just go the inside of a ping pong ball and win. So okay, so if we then find out that there is oxygen and hydrogen on the inside of a ping pong ball, in the inside of a ping pong ball, do I? Fine, Google, do I win? Google it, Google it. You don't win, but you win this. Uh, you get two points for that. Normal air. Shit. Wait, you said hydrogen. Yeah. Well, hydrogen's a part of normal air. Is it? Oh, no, I'm thinking of H2O. That's water. <laughs> <laughs> there is hydrogen in normal air, isn't there? Uh, I would not be sure, actually. In a very small quantity, surely. The, the very small quantity. Nitrogen is. Yeah, but that's not <laughs> hydrogen. There are ten gases. Oh. Nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide, neon, helium, methane, krypton, hydrogen, and xenon. Fine. I'll give you that I incorrectly challenged you. So have I got two seconds left to go on that then? Mm-hmm. Three, two, one. The inside of a ping pong ball is concave. And you win. 
And you did say concave, but the alarm already went off. <laughs> That's lucky then. Okay, so you're now beating me 13 to 12. Really? Yeah. One. one. Number one is biscuits. <laughs> you seem quite excited about that. Oh, I want a biscuit now. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Go. My favourite biscuits are undoubtedly chocolate chip cookies. That is, even if you can call them biscuits. I mean, really, the Americans might call them biscuits, although I forget how that works. More to the point, I find that my biscuits are usually held in a red tin, and I often binge eat these biscuits when I'm feeling sad and lonely because I'm a piece of shit. Anyway, when I'm watching TV, it's quite easy to absent-mindedly consume these biscuits as they are delicious and incredibly Moorish. Biscuits are usually made of the substance wheat, which can be grown in fields. Holy crap! <laughs> I spoke incredibly slowly and went the whole minute. <laughs> Goodness me. Well done, sir. <clears throat> I'm surprised you didn't pull me up a few times. Yeah, there was a couple of borderline get... hesitations. but can, can I get two points for surviving the whole minute? No, I suppose. Now it's 14-13. <laughs> Because I feel like it, I it actually get more points for going a bit back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Next subject number three. Is this me to start? Yes. Antarctica. Mm. Did, did you get the timer. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Three, two, one. Antarctica is a continent which is very cold. It's primarily white and often snows because it's covered in ice and quite often people take expeditions there to prove how nuts they are. For example, what was his Hes name? Hesitation. Um, what, what the fuck was that guy's name? <laughs> <laughs> There's a Scott in there. Oh, S I, Scott. Scott. Hes hesitation, definitely. Scott of the Antarctic. What was his name? I forget. Right. <laughs> That was definitely a hesitation. Okay. And go. I find it quite odd that Antarctica is at all considered a continent because underneath the actual ice, it is mainly just an archipelago, smaller than most countries. And I... Hesitation. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't sure about that, because I, I, it's the North Pole that's um, got no land, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. Very roughly in the middle of Antarctica can be found a destination called the South Pole. Explorers have often... Hesitation. <laughs> Explorers. <laughs> Do I get that? Go on, then. I don't get to tell my story. Go on. Carry on. You ready? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, right. Are you ready? And go. There is a treaty about Antarctica making sure that no country can claim any part of it officially. <sighs> you win that one. I think I say country twice, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got away with it. So it is now 17.14 uh, to me. Okay. Um, 13. Cheese. Ready. You should be able to... Who's going with it? Oh, it's mine, actually. And ready. Yeah. Go. Cheese is made by what I can only describe as wrapping curdled milk in a special cloth. This is, of course, very inaccurate, as I have no idea how this magic substance is made. I find that there are a wide variety of cheeses from different countries. Swiss cheeses often have holes in them, and French cheeses are often very smelly. <laughs> Hesitation. Fine. I said often twice as well, which was less like... Yeah, you did say made twice, <clears throat> but uh, I'll let you away with it because I didn't want 45 seconds. <laughs> You're a twat. <laughs> 
Right, so now it is 17.15. And your turn. Okay. Three, two, one. Cheese can be offered as an accompaniment to many different dishes. One very controversial use of cheese as an accompaniment to a fuck... You said it twice. <laughs> I just like <laughs> it sounded like you were just continuing your sentence. Cheese can be offered as a cont- uh, controversial condiment to fuck. Are you ready? Like cheese and sex. Go. Are you ready? No. <laughs> I don't care. Are you ready? Okay. Go. Cheese can be put on many different bread-based items, including crackers, which is famously done in TV shows, and pizza, which the Italians are famous for. I do not know how this... mm, Jesus Christ! (laughs) You you have to string out a fucking mind block. (laughs) You didn't call me up on it. I know, but that because I couldn't have proved that it wasn't leading somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> I need to get more mercenary, don't I, really? Yeah. Okay. Nine. Number nine is the word minute. Okay. Three, two, one... The word minute is a curious thing. It appears in the dictionary under the section for the letter M... It has multiple definitions because the same spelling can also be used to denote the word minute. It is spelt M-I-N-U. Oh, bollocks. (laughs) (laughs) Hang on. I'm not sure if I'm keeping a track of this correctly because this doesn't seem right. I think it's 1915 right now. Do you? Not the year. (laughs) Thank fuck for that. (laughs) (laughs) We'd be doing this podcast in an underground bunker right now. Wait, they didn't exist then, did they? I'd probably be dead. Yeah. (laughs) The war! (laughs) Actually, you probably wouldn't exist if it were 1915. This is true. Are you ready? Uh, mm, I've forgotten what the actual subject was. It wasn't cheese, was it? Uh, no, no, the, the word, word minute. minute. Yeah, you ready? And go. The word minute is spelt with the letters M, I, N, U, T, and E. I am glad that those letters don't repeat there. And <laughs> oh, hesitation. Fine. <clears throat> I'm not even. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. The word minute has six letters in it and comes roughly halfway through that book which we used to look up names and spellings of things. It is also used to define a period of 60 seconds and can also be a thing that I can... You said thing. <laughs> yeah, it's on zero. <laughs> the alarm didn't go off and it was... Yeah, but only because you pressed the stop button. No, I saw that it was on one, and you said thing before then. Fucking hell. (laughs) Cheating bastard. Yeah, you know that. Fine, I'll allow you that. Oh, oh. Oh, I was going to sit and say, could I wrongly tell Firebolt is a cheating fuck like you did in the first. I, 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 you, and you got it on the thing, so you get two points for that. Do I? Yeah, because I wrongly challenged you. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So what's the score now, then? Uh, 1918. Again, I hope that's not the actual year. Okay, Um. next subject, number 11, have we done that? The subject 11 is New Zealand. And who starts this one? Me, I think. Yeah, you started that one, so it should be me. And go. The geographical location of New Zealand is roughly... In the South Pacific Ocean, this is quite useful for trade between Asia and the Americas. I find that New Zealand's flag particularly bothers me because it is too similar to Australia's. Recently, they had a referendum on this, 
to put a silver fern on this piece of cloth that they hang above their schools, I assume. And this is because that silver fern is the symbol... Repetition. I I talked for way longer than I thought I could. Yeah, you did. Although I was getting worried there because you're quite good at geography. Especially when you start talking about flags. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway. Okay. New Zealand was famously used as a main filming location by Peter Jackson when making the Lord of the Rings series. It also consists mainly of two islands, which are referred to as the North and South Island, and it has a capital called... Auckland. Wellington, actually. Wellington? I don't know. Which one is it? Well, it is Wellington. One of them's on the north and one's on the south, isn't it? It's Wellington. 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 Uh, Auckland, I think, is bigger, though. Anyway, you get a point for that, so now you are actually beating me. Ooh. So I'll have to pull this back. You will. Number five. Hull. And you have to start. Do I? Yeah. Um, we're talking about uh, the English city. Three, two, one. Hull is situated in the on the northeast coast of England, and it has been disputed that it could have been at different points in history a part of the <laughs> hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> You're a twat. Is that the face that you make when you're trying to think? <laughs> when I'm trying to think? Yeah. Under pressure? Just... <laughs> An exam. Is that what you Just head banging. Yeah, but all exams, all you way. don't get hesitation and, and repetition and deviation. You're under a lot of like pressure, that. though. Yeah, but you get like three hours or something instead of one minute. If you got one minute on exams, then you would be doing that. <laughs> You'd just be banging your head against the table until it goes away. How do you know I wasn't? <laughs> I know for a fact that you were. <laughs> right, so now I get that. Okay. Which is annoying. Are you ready? Yeah. And go. Hull is undisputably one of the shittiest c- cities in Britain, which there is quite a bit of competition for. But I think the combination of the weather and just general Englishness is a perfect storm for making it that title. Hull is also the name for the part of a ship at where it takes most of the damage. Deviation. I was getting somewhere. Yeah, but it clearly says Hull and in brackets city, not part of a ship. I was going to say that might be why it was called that, but okay. Fine. Are you still beating me then? I'm going to be harsh to you. Go. Hull is on the River Kingston and there is a famous bridge. Many of its residents are in argument about which... Fine. <laughs> Great, you're now beating me <sighs> 22 to 20. What was the overall score, by the way? You were beating me 2-1 on the Super Fight versus Cards Against Humanity. Yeah. So That was last time. Yeah. So... It depends who wins this. Yeah. So the overall score before today was the two was one. two one to you. Mm. Uh, number seventeen. Number seventeen is Forks. Are you ready? No, but go on. Okay, go. Forks are a metal utensil that are tip that is typically used to stab pieces of food whilst you put your knife into them. They are usually made of metal and have roughly three to four prongs. Uh, I find it particularly interesting... Hesitation. I'm sure you said metal twice as well. No, I didn't. Okay, maybe not. But you definitely said... uh... (laughs) I'm I'm being bullied. (laughs) Start... There are other examples of forks besides the utensil which is used to facilitate the action of eating. A fork in the road, for example, might help you to reach to different destinations or even the same place via alternative routes. 
there is also a forked tongue on the inside of a snake's mouth, which one would try to avoid lest one wish to be poisoned. Deviation. How? Forked and forks aren't the same things. Okay, but they're examples of forks. Yeah, all right then. Go on then. Right. Ready and go. My favourite use of forks is for fondue, where you can skewer it onto a piece of food and dip it in the cheese. You can stop. I know, but I don't want to. <laughs> Seven. Donald Trump's hair. Donald Trump's hair is a very disgusting colour, a distinct shade of orange, which reminds one of his ludicrous policies <laughs> at the immediate minute that one sees it. He could not be considered to be any kind of serious politician with a hairstyle like that. One could believe that it actually had a life of its own, but there's one thing that's not in doubt, and that is that his hair could probably run the American country better than he can. So maybe Donald Trump should just leave his hair on the chair in the Oval Office in the White House to do the job for him. There's a parting on one side, and hopefully one day it will turn a horribly orange shade of said grey. Orange. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I nearly at the five seconds. I got fifty-five seconds out of that. Just for a fucking orange. Donald Trump, I hate you. <laughs> and your hair's not the reason. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. And go. There was a recent news story about a time when Donald Trump was on an... <laughs> 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 now you're beating me. And now you won't let this end. Right, so the score is 24-23. Let us make this the last subject. Okay. All or nothing. All right, then. And, and I'm starts. starting. Okay. 18. 18. Margaret Thatcher. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. And go. Margaret Thatcher, a member of the Conservative Party, or so used to be, is now dead. She was arguably one of the most hated British politicians in history. She was a prime minister for a time, and her harsh policies made her very unpopular. She had a particular hard line against coal miners. Although, during her reign, she made some movements towards gay people being allowed to exist. Now... <laughs> Hesitation. <laughs> I'll let you away with quite a few of those. I got through too much of that. Yep. Oh, okay, so if you make this, then you win. Yes. You have to make 16 seconds talking about Margaret Thatcher okay. without any pauses or okay. deviations. Mm -hmm. Which is worrying, because I think you can do that. <laughs> Three... Two, one. Margaret Thatcher often wore blue as a sign of her political stance. She used to carry a handbag and was famous for her permed hairstyle. One of her closest allies was the President of the United... Shit. <laughs> you win this round, pesky... Yeah! I'm so pleased. Sorry. <laughs> That was enduring. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Thank God that's over. Let's not do that again. That was that, that was hard. Uh, I, I, Stressful. It was fun though. Yeah, <laughs> I made a complete tit of myself. Though. You think people do this every week? Used to do this every week. Uh, is it still going? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Nicholas Parsons is the. He, he's really funny on on the radio show. Actually. He's been hosting this for for decades. every week for decades. Yeah. So, yeah, check that out. I'll put the link in the description for, for the BBC iPlayer. Because otherwise we might get copyright strikes. We <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yes. I've been Firebolt. And I'm still the Orbiter. <laughs> Don't leave that long of a it's really annoying. Hesitation. <laughs> Ow! Fuck, <laughs> bandit. I just felt like slapping you. Physical abuse, and I have the evidence. Doesn't matter, it's not child abuse, is it? 
You can't smack me now that it's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually, yeah. I have been... The... <laughs> I would have pissed you off, though. <laughs> I was about to say I've been the orbiter. I've... You can possibly be the orbiter. No, I'm much better. I could never sink to such depths of disgustingness. Get on with it! I have been viral. And I'm still the orbiter. Farewell. Bye! Thanks for watching. We'd really appreciate if you support us on various things, obviously subscribing on YouTube, Twitch, following us on Twitter or Facebook. We have a Discord server that you can join and talk to us and other people, and a website where you can check out blog posts. And obviously this isn't free for us to run, so if you'd like to support us financially, we have a Patreon page where you can donate monthly and get subscriber rewards. We also have a Stream Elements tipping page where you can make one-off donations. The links are all in the description. Farewell. See you next time.